They don't have a weak spot neither. This is right there on their head. Where the fuck we at? Alright, we need to go. We need to turn around. Go up the hill right there. shocked by these things it's like the whole fucking field is a shock force too yeah it is damn okay fuck I know motherfucker more slurm bitch. Oh, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do up here. Okay, now where to? Take out a guy try to fly up there. Alrighty. Here goes nothing. Hell yeah. Damn, look at all this fucking splooch. job on Mars. The mountains are extremely fucking large on Mars. The planet's smaller than Earth, but the 
rock formation. The crust of Mars is so extreme. Like, uh, what the hell's that? Clutch Nixon. Wait, I, I missed one back here. Missed. Okay, I missed this. And, uh, that shit up there. But yeah, uh, from what I've read and learned, shit's pretty fucking extreme. Like, uh, they have a lot of trouble with the rovers up there because the rocks are like, uh, I mean, they're, they're sharper than glass, like all the rocks. Like, you, the rovers' wheels wear out so quickly because of how sharp these rocks are. And so, uh, that's one big issue that NASA had when they was making new rovers to go to Mars besides Discovery. Or what is, what is fucking Mars rover name? Is it Discovery? Fuck you. Yeah. These things are gonna fucking kill me because I can't fucking hit them. Damn it, fuck me. <sighs> Pretty interested in space shit. If you've never heard of Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson, you should listen to a couple of his seminars. I can literally sit and listen to that guy speak for six hours, seven hours straight. <coughs> He's the director of the Hayden Planetarium in New York City. He's an astrophysicist. And an all-around genius. A guy literally... Fucking head so damn big, such a nerd, he knows fucking everything there is to know, I swear to God. Whoa, what was that? Oh, Herc's leg. It got dark right here, why'd it get dark? From this vantage point, I see another arachnidus. I think I just killed that. That was that one. Yeah, that's it. That was it. <laughs> oh shit. Please don't land in the sand. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, splooge. Ooh, more splooge. Eggs. Yeah, so they was talking about, you know, uh, the generation, uh, below mine is the Mars generation. They're training these 12, 13, 16 year old kids to, uh, take long space journeys. Like, I think it's, uh, seven to nine months to Mars, depending on the window. And the window to be able to travel to Mars, its closest rotation to Earth is every like seven years, I think, or something like that. It's a long ways from home, but to be honest, man, if I had nothing fucking going for me, except like a scholarship, or I mean, uh, an education, 
in uh, science and I would totally take a one-way ticket to Mars no doubt about it I mean you gotta think about like Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin and stuff shit man when they went to the moon they thought they was far away from home you know Mars that's so much farther away such a different element you know I got a Yeti in here Cows? There is cows. That's fucking hilarious. That's a bull. No, it's not. It's got others. Alright, so for you city folk that don't know the difference, a heifer is a cow that has never had a baby or been fucked. A steer is a bull calf that has had his balls cut off. And a bull is obviously a male cow that has testicles and a dick. And of course, with a, a pigs, a male pig is a boar, and then a female pig is a sow. And yeah, I don't know, some random knowledge on you there. Ain't got nothing else to talk about. The fuck? Alright, what the fuck? What the hell? Okay, this is fucking weird. Understanding the history of the Earth is imperative in conducting the means by which to save it. Dirt's a little Marsy, but all right. Okay. What is it? All right. So this is what it would be like if they actually like invaded Earth, which I think would be fucking sick. I think they should do another DLC where these aliens do come to fucking Earth. I can't wait for the zombie DLC, man. That's gonna be so awesome. I love editing maps in Far Cry. Like, that's one of my favorite things to do ever. So I'm totally gonna be doing that. I'm dead. I need to get up on the church roof. get back outside I'm totally going to upgrade me a weapon or get a new one or something these fucking suck anymore God damn, I'm getting busted. I'm dead. Fuck me. Mm, this is silly. Come on. 
Come on, fucking kill each other. Come on, bitch. I like how it gets disoriented from them things, too. I figured it wouldn't even budge, but... Uh, oh, fuck. Nope. Fuck you. God, there's so fucking many of them. Fucking hate. I mean, that shit don't hurt me when she hits me. That red stuff does, though. These creatures look like a little similar to uh, the alien creatures in A Quiet Place, which, by the way, is a fucking fantastic movie. I've never been in a movie theater that was so silent in my life. Like, you could hear the fucker behind you picking his fucking nose. Insane. How good it is. And there's only like four fucking lines of dialogue in the whole fucking movie. Good movie, though. Good alien movie. Love alien movies. Love any kind of space movie. Got the bitch this time. Fuck, fall down there. I'll get seriously all kinds of fucked up. She's dead. He's over to flee. Nah, yeah, they flee. 